Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The Funeral, a Japanese dramatic comedy from 1984 that was directed by Juzo Itami. Now I do have a top 5 list of my favorite films from this director, I'll include a link to that video in the description box below. The only movie that I have reviewed separately was Tom Popo, primarily because it's one of the few movies from Itami that is widely available nowadays. That situation is changing, however, with the recent Blu-ray release of The Funeral. So we're going to take a look at that movie right now. Now here's the plot synopsis off of the recent Criterion release. It's death, Japanese style, in the rollicking and wistful first feature from Maverick director Juzo Itami. In the wake of her uh, lascivious father's sudden passing, a successful actor, played by Itami's wife and frequent collaborator Nobuko Miyamoto, and her husband, played by Tsutomi Yamazaki, leave Tokyo and return to their family house to oversee a traditional funeral. Over the course of three days of mourning that bring illicit escapades in the woods, a surprisingly materialistic uh, priest, played by Yasujiro Ozu regular Chishu Ryu, and cinema's most epic sandwich handoff, the tensions between public propriety and private hypocrisy are laid bare. Deftly weaving dark comedy and poignant family drama, The Funeral is a fearless satire of the clash between old and new in Japanese society in which nothing, not even the finality of death, is off limits. Now, according to the lead actress, this movie was actually partially inspired by her own father's funeral in real life. That's how they kind of came up with the concept of the film. And The Funeral does contrast traditional and modern culture quite a bit. It's very detailed in how it shows the pre-funeral arrangements with the family members, as well as the actual rituals themselves. It touches on a lot of different angles related to this topic, from you know telling little kids that their granddad died, to figuring out all of the funeral details and logistics and all that kind of thing. Now this is one of those films that I think is really culturally specific because there are a lot of very precise aspects of the funeral preparation in Japan. And I have read that Japanese viewers find much to relate to in this movie. So that means that some international viewers may miss some of the humor. But at the same time, even if you miss a little bit of the humor, it's interesting to see how Japanese customs differ from other countries. And non-Japanese viewers will definitely pick up on all of those details. Now, in regard to the director himself, Juzo Itami, his father was also a director from the silent era. I've actually never seen his father's movies. Uh, very difficult to track down. But Juzo apparently wanted to do other things, like to break free from his father's shadow. And he did appear as an actor in a number of movies over the years. But he intentionally avoided directing like a feature-length movie until he was over 50 years old, and they, had, they got the inspiration to make The Funeral. And The Funeral was his first full-length movie, uh, and he grew to love filmmaking while making it. And his wife said in some interviews that one of his mottos was this, churning out ideas is the only option if there's no budget. And I found that perspective to be very insightful. Like, if you don't have a budget, just get creative, right? I think it's good advice. And that strategy comes, comes through in most of his movies. And if you've seen Tom Popo, you know what I'm talking about. Although it is important to note and point out that the humor in the funeral is more laid back and quaint, for the most part, with a few heightened moments of energy. This is not as crazy as something like Tom Popo. So if you go in uh, expecting that, you might be disappointed. Okay. Um, I do think some Western viewers may have difficulty getting into this one, if only because the humor is more tempered, culturally specific, and it has a slice-of-life feel to it. But the funeral definitely has its moments. Uh, for example, there's a really cool moment early on where you have a giant woman interacting with a smaller man. It's one of the weirder moments, uh, setups. And then they actually show how that shot from like a movie-making perspective, and I thought that was really neat camera trickery. Very A very cool shot. I don't see it very often in movies. Then there's the sandwich scene, uh, which was totally unexpected and probably my favorite moment in the film, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I, I laughed pretty hard during that scene. Um, 
I also like the part where they the uh, the elders watch a home video about how to, I guess, act at a funeral. <laughs> like you have to learn this. So th- there are some really funny moments that Westerners will get. I'll say that much. Uh, but I do classify this as more of like a dramatic comedy, kind of hybrid. So I do recommend the funeral. It is available on Blu-ray from Criterion. We do need more Juzo Itami films on physical media. I'm really hoping. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I hope for the Taxing Woman movies to come out, both of them. Uh, But we'll have to see. And as always, I will see you next time.